What's up guys? Welcome back to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. Now you might have noticed there was quite a bit of a wait between this and the last one. I don't want to say I'm sorry for that, but the reason is because I was waiting for the no new Yoshi Engine update to continue with my tutorials. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to the GitHub. You're just going to want to download the new update 1.7. And you're simply just going to want to copy in here. And there we go. Your mod is ported over to the new version. You will not have to do this for future versions as there's now a built-in updater that downloads all the new game assets you need. And it's uh, pretty cool. But that's not what this video is about. Today we're going to be covering weeks and songs. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and enter the toolbox. Let's select the first cube and edit the mod. Now something you might notice from the last update is the new song config. We'll get into that a little later, but let's just create our first song. So let's add a new song. Our song name. So let's say my song with the little minus thing uh, actually changes the volume but go ahead and separate with that and let's say the display name would be my song song difficulties we'll just include normal and then free play character icon do whatever you want I guess we'll do Q you know what, we'll do dad. Then we can select the character of the free play thing. And we can change the BPM. Now for the BPM, you're going to just want to choose the BPM of your song. Alright, so what you want to do is you're going to want to go into mods. Versus cube. Songs and paste your songs file in there. You want the ints and the voices we have this helpful text file which uh which won't be in uh in your song but whatever we have this helpful text file which lets us know the bpm of your song of my or of your song um ask your composer for the bpm if you don't know it and you aren't the composer but 163 so let's go ahead and browse to the to the place for a song. Okay, so for the ants, we're gonna want to choose an aug. In the aug, you're gonna want to adjust the BPM accordingly. So for me, it's 163. And then we're just gonna want to create my song. There we go. So free play character icon. We can change. I think the cube. Yeah. All right, and then song config. And we do have awesome. I'm not sure why that's exactly there, but let's choose my song. We have the cutscene, the end cutscene, and the scripts. We're not gonna do any of these for now. Uh, those will be covered in later tutorials. So we can go ahead and choose weeks now. This gets a bit more complicated than Psych Engine. But let's let's go ahead and change some stuff. Week name. First cube. Week tracks. My song. Button sprite, so this would be. Let's go ahead and say images. We can create a new folder called menu buttons. And we can just really use any image we'd like. I just have the image from Studios One of my mod Funk in the Galaxy. Go check it out. It's on Game Troll and Game Banana. 
galaxy is spelled with two eyes. But yeah, we just have the weak image from that. The character file. Now, let's just go into... Let's go up. Images, characters, and cube, man. I'm honestly not sure much about the character idol. Um, you can also change this if you want to change the weak color. Like the little yellow color. Yeah, I've never tried this out. Um, it's a it's a bit annoying because you can't just do no character like you can on Psych Engine, as far as I'm aware. Okay, Mr. Q Idol. Mr. Cube Idol. Create first cube. Oh, hold on. It does not seem like that word. That's a bit odd, but it's whatever. Not sure if it has to be in a certain directory or something. Um, I will leave a pinned comment if I figure it out. Uh, it might just be something wrong with the image. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and exit out. Exit out of this. If we go into story mode. Oh, do we not have the mod enabled? Oh, that was Friday Pumpkin. Let's uh, go into versus cube. Alright, and there you go. Now, my song does not have a JSON file, so I don't think it's going to load. I'm not sure what happened here. I was probably messing around with something. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's just scale this down a bit. That might be a good idea. But something cool that seems to happen is even if you don't have a data folder and any JSONs, it's not gonna crash. It's just gonna load without a uh, JSON. That's really neat. I didn't know that. Yeah, you do. That's really cool. And then obviously from here, you can chart accordingly. I'll do a separate video on the chart editor a bit later. But yeah, um, go play my mod Punk in the Galaxy. That's where the song is from. And there we go. It works just fine. We can swap in our character, we can swap in anything. Obviously, song. Save. First cube. So, oh, it automatically creates a JSON. That's so cool. But yeah, you can go in and save over your JSON once you're done with your charting. Uh, I don't know how that got off beat, but you know, that's all for this video. Let's smash 100 likes for the stage editor tutorial. Probably not today. Day because I'm going somewhere today. In fact, um, when this video comes out, I'm uh I'm probably actually in the car right now. But uh yeah, I don't think there's gonna be another video today. But let's smash 100 likes for the stage editor tomorrow. Um yeah, bye guys.